In this video we're going to be creating icons for our mobile apps. Uh, we'll be using Adobe Flash to do this and we will be using a previous game that we've already made in Flash which is called Hole in One. Okay, it's a little golfing game that we can use on Android devices. And if you remember from that video, when we went to our Publish Settings, there was a tab in our settings here that allowed us to import some icons to go with our game. And what we need to do now is make these four icons at different resolutions there, so they cater for all the different mobile devices out there. And we're going to create this icon and just bring it in. So when we load up our app on our phone, we'll see the little icon on our screen. So to begin with, you need to open up an image editing program like Fireworks or Photoshop. Today, I'll be using Fireworks. And we're going to make a new document that is the biggest icon size, so 96 by 96 pixels. So here's Fireworks. I'll just quickly make a new document that is 96 by 96 pixels. Resolution will remain at 72 pixels per inch. And you want to have a transparent background. Once you've got that, you'll click on OK. And here's the size of our icon. It's only small, so you can zoom in a bit. I might go up to about 300% there. Now the icon I'm going to make is something relating to golf. So I'm going to choose a rounded rectangle. I'm going to pick up a greenish color for my um, backdrop. And I'm simply going to draw a rounded rectangle onto the page. Okay, I might just hold control and drag those little yellow diamonds out a little bit to fill up a bit more of the page. And that looks pretty good. Okay, if you wanted to resize that, you could. I might just resize it a little bit to 94 by 94 pixels. And the X and Y value will be set to 1 and 1. Okay, so now I've got a perfectly sized rounded rectangle inside that space. So that's the background of my image. On top of that, I'm going to grab my ellipse tool. I'm just going to select any old color for the minute because I'm going to choose a radial gradient to do the hole for my golf course. Now the color I want for my hole is going to be a light gray and a darker gray. Once I've got that, I'm simply going to go onto my page and down the bottom just draw in a hole. Okay, and that has not come out as the colors that I wanted, so I'll quickly go back and change those to light gray and a darker gray and make that radial. That looks more like the hole that I was after there. Okay, so I'll set that down the bottom. On top of that, I'm going to grab my line tool. I'll choose fairly dark grey again, maybe make my pixel size 2 or 3 and I'll draw a pole for the flag which is going to go straight up. I can hold shift to get the perfect straight line. That looks good and I'll just nudge that over a little bit so it's right in the center and then I'm going to draw a triangle off to the side here. So I'm going to grab my polygon tool, make sure that my size lever is set to three sides I'm just going to choose a solid color which is red and I'm going to click and drag out a triangle which will be my flag. Now we'll need to move that. Okay, it's a little bit big so I'll just use the transform tool, or scale tool, sorry, to resize that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, I could probably just nudge all this over to the left a little bit so it's a little bit more centered. There we go. So that's how my icon is going to look for my app. So now that I've finished it, I'll go to File, Save As, and I'll go into my Hole in One app folder. And I'm going to give it the name Icon with the numbers 96 next to it, just to show that it's a 96 by 96 pixel icon. I'll click Save. Over in Flash now, I can load that icon in. Okay, so all I have to do is down here, hit this folder and search for it. There's my icon, and in it loads at 96 by 96 pixels. Now to cater for these other sizes, all I have to do is resize my image in Fireworks and resave it. So what I'm going to do is grab my black arrow and just click off the page, go to Image Size, the next one, 72 by 72 pixels. It's a little bit smaller. No, I'll just save it as Icon, 72. Save it. The next one was 48 by 48, so again I'll click off the picture and go to Image Size and make it 
48 by 48 pixels. I'll save it as icon 48. And the last one was 36 by 36 pixels. So I'll go to image size and make it 36 by 36 pixels. Save as icon 36. And we're done. So I'll quickly load those in. So we've got icon 36, icon 48. There's icon 72, and we've already got icon 96 in. So that's all we need to do there. So I'm going to click on OK. Um, all my other published settings are still set up from the previous time I published it, so I don't have to touch any of those. So I'll click on Publish down the bottom to publish my app. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so there's our message saying it's been packaged successfully. So we'll click OK, click OK. Now I'm going to go across to my hole-in-one folder and I can see right here I've got my hole-in-one.apk file which I need to right click on and copy. We can just press Control C. And I'll go over to this PC and I can see that my Samsung Galaxy phone is connected so I'll open that up. Inside this folder I'll go to my documents and I'm just going to paste in that APK file. So there's hole-in-one now that appears in my documents. So I'll go across to my camera now and I'll show you what that looks like on my phone. Okay, so here's my phone. I'm um, going to be a little bit hard to see but I'll go to apps and I'm just going to scroll through and find my files. So there's my files. I'm getting close here. You can already see the icon has a preview at the top there for hole-in-one. I'll click on that first to install it. That's just quickly installing. Okay, so it's good. So I'll click on open down the bottom and that'll open my app. We already know it works, so I'll just exit out of that. Now, if I go back to my home screen and go to my apps, I can see just off to the side here, there's hole-in-one. And it's using that little icon I just created in Fireworks. So it looks a lot better than that little Android icon which comes, I'll try and get in real close there, that's with one of my other apps, and that's what's used by default. It's tiny, it looks ugly. Okay, instead create your own. You can see that hole in one app looks a lot nicer. It just blends in with all the other apps now. Okay, so I'll turn this off. Um, so it's as simple as that. Make the icon in Fireworks or Photoshop. I tend to use a PNG file because you can have transparent backgrounds and that looks a lot nicer. So stick with the PNG file, save it into your folder and then import it in your published settings and you're good to go.